guys what is up welcome to my channel so for today's video i am going to be doing two tutorials using the abh norvina volume 2 this is the second palette in the trio so if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about this palette as well as a couple of looks to hopefully inspire you then just keep watching very briefly going to talk about this palette really quick for you. It is $60. So like I just said, there are three in the collection. This is the second one. I already did a whole video on volume one, so we're going to move into volume two and sometime down the road, I don't know when volume three will also be here. So I would say volume two is the blue themed one. The packaging on the outside is absolutely gorgeous. I almost wish the color scheme of this palette was lighter because I feel like this needs to be darker to really match the color scheme, but I love how the palette itself looks. You have a giant mirror and then you have your 25 shades. Now this one is a really neat one. I love the blues. You have some green blues and just colors mainly in that family. I said this in my last video, but I'm not too crazy about the way these palettes are laid out. I find them to be a bit sporadic, which can be a bit overwhelming and a little bit uninspiring. There are so many shades though. Of course, I am able to come up with a look, but if I were to personally lay out this palette, I would do it differently. But I think the layout of this is a little bit better than Norvina Volume 1. As far as the quality of this goes, this palette is very good. I was pleasantly surprised with how the shades worked because a lot of times pressed blue pigments are really difficult to work with. Now, when I was swatching this palette, I was definitely really worried because the swatches of these colors required some building up. A lot of the shades were quite sheer, maybe a touch patchy. Some, even while layering, I couldn't get that full level of pigmentation, which isn't always a bad thing because you can build on that color on the eyes. So I would say that these work better on the eyes than they do swatched on an arm because this is strange. Volume one, the swatches were insane. Not so much for this one, I'm assuming because these are the blue family. But yeah, this palette might require a little bit of extra love as far as application goes, but it still is really a beautiful formula. I just think ABH really stepped it up with this formula and the shimmers in here are absolutely exceptional. So here is the first look that I did. So if you want to learn how I did this look, then we're about to get into it. So for the first color, I'm going with D4 right here. This is that yellow shade. I'm going to focus that on the inner part of my crease. I feel like I do this all the time with yellows, but yellow just leads into so many colors. You can go warm or cool with it. And then whatever's left over on your brush, you can kind of carry through the rest of the crease. But mainly you want to pack that color on right here. Now this particular shade isn't super duper pigmented, but it's easy to work with, so it's fine. The next shade I'm gonna take is right here. This is B3. Just taking that on a blending brush and we're gonna fuse the yellow into the green. Keep in mind, you will have to probably go back and add more, but we're just laying down all our bases here. The next color we're gonna take is B4 right here and we're gonna start this off in the outer part of the crease and kind of blend it out a little bit. Then we're going to go into D5 right here, which is a navy shade. And we're gonna use that to kind of intensify down here and really add some depth to the look. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of re-intensify these crease colors. Pretty simple, the next shade we're going into is D1. Of all the shimmers in here, this is the one that excited me the most. It's stunning. So I'm just using my finger and applying this all over the lid. The shimmers in these palettes are killer. There's something that's just so special about them. So now I'm gonna kinda go back in with all the colors and blend. For my inner corner highlight, we're gonna go in with C1. This has a really pretty golden shift to it as well that's blending very naturally into that matte yellow we put down. Okay, so I'm going to do my face makeup and I'll be right so back. The lower lash line, of course, we're gonna keep it super simple. So I'm just taking that B3 green shade we're just gonna run it down here, basically along the whole lower lash line. Then I'm going in with B4 and D5. Then D5 is gonna kind of deepen that outer part. And just to add a fun element, I'm taking some of A5, which is this shimmery teal color. I'm gonna pop that kind of right, not exactly in the inner corner, but just along the inside of the lower lash line. 
and this kind of adds a cool new element to the look. All right, cool. So I'm gonna finish everything and I'll be right back. And here is the final look. I am really loving it. It's very rare that I do looks with blues, but it's really, really pretty. So every single color that I used in the palette today worked great. I would say that the yellow kind of didn't have as much of a punch as I would have preferred, but it definitely was buildable and it worked just fine. That's just me being extra critical. And just the nature of blues, they were definitely a little bit more difficult to work with compared to the Norvina Volume 1, but still very, very easy to work with. I am pleasantly surprised. I mean, I'm not surprised because the last palette was so great, but with the blues, I always get a little bit worried, but everything seemed to work out great. So this is look number one and I'm loving it. So let's go on to the second look. So for this next look, you're going to have to kind of bear with me for a little while because we are going against the grain of color theory. Once the liner, lashes, foundation, all the whole kit and caboodle is on it will come together but right now we're looking a little unblended and crazy the first shade we're digging into is d2 right here this is a hot hot orange and he's very very pigmented like this color is more pigmented than i thought it was going to be which is kind of what ruined the color theory here but that's okay i made it work so we're just going to work on building this and blending it. But yes, a super pigmented formula this particular shade has. I mean, the whole palette as well, but we will build on that more, I promise. But the next shade that we're going into is E3 right here. This is like a matte greenish blue and we're going to create kind of a halo eye effect now this is where you have to be very careful because this orange and green can get very muddy very quick if you over blend them together so just work on pressing and packing so the more you blend and mesh the pigments together the more muddy it's going to look so just slowly work that in like i said bear with me the next shade we're going into is e1 right here this is a bit of a brighter blue shade blue green i guess we're gonna place this kind of in that next space still leaving the center blank this is gonna kind of brighten everything it's a beautiful kelly green and then in the center of that lid we're gonna take a5 right here which is a shimmery color and i'm starting off with a brush for some precision, but we'll go in and use our finger. Very, very carefully, we're going to work on the orange blend right here, because as you can see, it's a lot brighter on this side. Because it is starting to darken here and look a touch muddy, what I do to kind of aid that is I make it smoky and I add this black here, which is E5. And if you're not very careful with this black, it will blacken, blacken the entire look. So we're just focusing on patting the color out here to begin with and then slowly work it in. So I'm kind of bringing it up into the crease a little bit. We're going to blend these edges. Like I said, continue to bear with me. I'm going to put on the rest of my face makeup and I'll be right back. All right, so for my lower lash line, we are going to start off with E1 and then we're gonna build some depth with E3. I'm gonna pop some of A5 on top and then a little bit of black in the outer corner just to go with the smokiness. So I'm just gonna fast forward through it because it's gonna be boring. We're gonna do some lashes and I'll be back. All right, so we did it. We reached the final look and I told you to just hang tight. It would all come together and with liner and lashes and all of that good stuff, I really like this look. I will say it's not my best, best work, but I really do like it. So I just wanted to take a moment to give you my overall thoughts about the palette. And I mean, it's definitely going to take a certain type of person to purchase this. Like you gotta love your blues. The majority of this palette is blues. The negative I have to say about this is I feel like a lot of the matte blues were unnecessary. Some of them are just extremely close to once they blend out, they're all gonna kind of look the same and mesh together. But other than that, this is a very 
unique palette. I definitely don't have a palette that looks like this. I think with the nature of these colors, it is going to be a little bit more difficult to work with, but I still am very impressed by this formula. The looks that I did with this palette, yes, it took a little bit longer than some other looks would have, but the quality of this is super good. This is like a really great pressed pigment formula that's relatively easy to work with. The colors are very vivid and they're easy to work with. And the colors in this palette that aren't quite so vivid, they do build up quite easily. So comparing this to Norvina Volume 1, like I said earlier, this palette kind of swatches horribly, but on the eyes, I have not had any issues. So that's all I have for today's video. I just wanted to take some time to do a couple of looks using this palette for you guys because you guys seem to love my tutorials. So I'm trying to be better better about putting out more tutorial style videos. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you take the time to do so. I will also be doing a tutorial video on volume three. And that's all I have for today, guys. Have a good one.